Some might have just discovered her from my music, but me new pon her from Go Meets World. Is a Bruna Carpenter actually overrated? That's something someone like Azealia Banks would say, cause every song of hers she has released this year has gone viral and are either topping the charts of the most streamed songs daily on Spotify or the, it's number two. Much as she's getting these successful numbers, there have been people who are criticizing the amount of streams she gets per song and claim they are fake. Users on Twitter claim that Spotify auto selects the current Sabrina Carpenter's song, and even when they are just listening to a genre like Afrobeats or a genre that's not related to Sabrina Carpenter's category. Crazy, right? I've just tried to put on my Smash Shuffle on, and yeah, it appears on my list, but that's my pop playlist, so it's kind of normal. I really don't know if this happened to anyone else, but feel free to comment below, because this used to happen when also, not like us by Kendrick Lamar, is going crazy to the eggs and Spotify is recommended to me when I'm even just playing my pop playlist, we add. To me, honestly, I don't think Sabrina Carpenter is actually overrated. Like, she deserves the hype. For someone who released a good album in Chinks 22 and has been touring with Taylor Swift, any person that saw her blowing up in 2022, like that album, knew this was really coming because the album was great. And after that, she had her opening for Taylor Swift's era's tour. You already knew she was collecting Taylor Swift fans behind her back. And you know, when it comes to Swifties and helping someone out, not helping, but oh, the songs are great, so they came in behind a box of Hopa. Now her songs are just going viral all the time. They're not only going viral because of the Swifties, but she's actually releasing good music. To be honest, people who say she's overrated, I guess people who are against her would want to see her success.